Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is an updated skincare routine. I'm very excited and it's also kind of like a mini review of SkinCeuticals and some of their products. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I post Skincare Sunday videos pretty much every single Sunday and I haven't been doing that recently and the reason is is that it definitely takes somewhat of a toll on my skin always trying out new products like at a constant. So I've decided to kind of scale it back just a little bit. I'm still going to be sharing a lot of really great skincare products, but I'm just going to dial it back a little bit so that I'm only showing skincare products that I know work for me. At this rate, I'm really just showing things that kind of come in, new products. So I'm going to take more time with these products to show you guys just the best of the best instead of just everything under the sun. And I'm hoping that will also help my skin because I've noticed like the past six months, my skin has really been reacting like I don't want to say negatively, but it's been changing. And I know that happens with the change of seasons, aging, and a lot of other things. But I feel like maybe having more of a um, strict skincare routine for myself will help. So nonetheless, today's video is kind of like my updated skincare routine. Um, I'm only showing kind of what I do when I first wake up in the morning, and then I can do an updated nighttime skincare routine um, later on. I'm still kind of perfecting that. But I do know what I like to do every single morning. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I went to the Ottawa Skin Clinic pretty recently and I met up with SkinCeuticals there to do one of their newer um, treatments. It's called the Custom Dose Treatment. So essentially what you're doing is, and this might not be the right terminology, but I just want to give you a rundown. So basically you go in and you get photos taken of your face and I'll insert the photos that I took. Um, I shared them with you on Instagram, but my God, I was blown away. So basically you take kind of three photos of your face, of your skin, and it kind of analyzes where you're doing really good and where you're doing a little bit on the poor side. And then it helps create your skincare routine because you exactly know, like everyone knows, you know, I'm oily or I'm dry, like those kinds of standard questions but when you get into the nitty-gritty of okay I'm really struggling with fine lines or I'm really struggling with enlarged pores or I'm really struggling with bacteria buildup then you can really kind of nail down what your skin needs and that's exactly what we did which was awesome so we realized that I am doing pretty good in a lot of areas but one area that I'm really struggling with is enlarged pores I've always had a little bit bigger pores but in the last six months I've noticed like a very dramatic change in my pores and I also find that I have a lot of bacteria buildup um, in my chin where I've been breaking out a lot. Um, broken capillaries, I have a few around my nose, nothing too bad and I'm killing the game in the wrinkles so that's awesome. So then at the end it tells you okay so your age so I'm 26 and then it tells you your skin's age so my skin was actually 22 which is amazing i was blown away by that and very happy so that's all good um and then we basically took all of that and decided okay what do we need to combat a big thing that we talked about was sun damage so as you guys know i talk about this a lot in like i would say probably 70 percent of my videos i talk about spf and the importance of wearing sunscreen or importance of having some kind of spf in your routine um lips and skin and it's funny because that's one of my struggle areas and the reason is is when i was a kid i never wore sunscreen like i would go to soccer games out in the sun all day tournaments all day and i would never wear sunscreen and now i'm paying the price so i had a lot of sun damage so all that being said we created something for me to use every day that's not too lengthy because that's my big thing i've been saying that a lot is that skincare routines you want them pretty concise because i personally feel that's the only way you're going to stick to them so out of all that we came up with a really great routine so the first product that we determined that i absolutely needed was a cleanser everybody needs a cleanser a daily cleanser that you can use in the morning and at night time is important to me because i just want one i don't want two i just want one product that i can use so this one here is a really great one another essential element that i needed was it to be foam um for whatever reason the foam cleansers help with pores in a large pore so we went with this one this is actually one that i've already previously used so this is the soothing foam cleanser it's comforting cleanser with botanical extracts and it soothes the skin this is really really great it's a soothing soap free foam so yeah as i mentioned the greatest thing about this guy is that you can use it in the morning and at night which is important for me because i just want one and it's really really gentle all you need is one pump and then you can just work it into your skin i find it helps take off any kind of residue makeup it just makes me feel super clean it's non-sticky at all and it's pretty light in the scent which is important to me as well so i absolutely love this guy it's just really really great this is actually my second bottle of it so i'm very excited then we move on to the oil i wanted something very light one thing that i don't like about 
with oils is because I have oily skin, sometimes I find them really heavy and sticky and I can see them through my makeup and I hate that. So I wanted something that was lightweight, was gonna be easy enough to use. And in the morning, I went with this one here, which is the Pluretin CF Broad Range Antioxidant Treatment. So basically, this helps prevent free radical damage and diminishes the look of discoloration and improves skin tone and texture. So I don't have too, too bad of texture, but it's gonna help with my pores. It's gonna help with a little bit of discoloration that I'm experiencing, and it's really lightweight. So this is the one that I use right after cleansing, so it kind of walks right in right away, and I only use it in the morning. After that comes moisturizer. I love water-based moisturizers, and Although I love them, they did not recommend one for me. So that's really interesting. This one here though, however, feels super, super light. I tested all of them on my hands and this one was like, I don't know how to explain it, but there was no sticky residue. It almost like melted into my hand and then was like, poof, gone. And that's exactly what I want in a moisturizer. I don't want to feel it all day long. I don't want to feel gross or slimy. So this one here is the Daily Moisturizer Lightweight pore minimizing moisturizer for normal or oily skin. Pore minimizing was key for me. I really wanted something that was gonna help minimize my pores, fill them in, kind of blur them out. It's really lightweight, it has barely any scent at all, which I really like. I don't really love smelly stuff, to be honest. I just want something just like neutral, get on the skin, and is good. This also can be used in the morning and at night, which I've been using um, both and I've been loving it. It just soaks right in, feels really nice. So basically what it says is it's gonna replenish and hydrate skin while minimizing the appearance of pores, which is, as we know, what I need. So it was a no brainer for me to get this guy right away. So next I knew that I needed some kind of SPF in my life. Um, I've been kind of kicking it like, okay, I'll use SPF 20, 25. That's not cutting it clearly. So I stepped it up a notch and I actually got this one, Physical Fusion UV Defense. This is SPF 50. I'm gonna be using this every day, winter, non-winter, I don't care. I'm stepping up my SPF game because I really care about my skin and I feel bad that I felt like I was doing a good enough job and I had a lot of skin damage. So one of the cool things about this is that it does have a little bit of a tint. It's nothing like crazy. It's not gonna conceal anything really, but it gives you this kind of nice glow, but it's not sticky. It does have a slight kind of sunscreen scent to it, but it's something that I'm willing to live with because I really feel that it's so important to just add that SPF into your routine. And so it's 100% mineral ultra sheer fluid protects and enhances skin's radiance. So it says shake bottle and apply a quarter size amount to the face and neck, massage into skin. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, it is pretty liquidy, so definitely give it a good, good shake. Um, I failed to do that quite a few times and I was like, whoa, it just kind of went everywhere, but it's really nice and it's easy to use. The last step that I always do is a little bit of lip balm. I've been using this stuff for such a long time. It's just the only stuff that I find actually works on my lips without having to reapply throughout the day. I do have a Nivea lip balm that sits on my desk at work, but this is the stuff that I find if I'm feeling chapped throughout the day. If I put this on at night, the next morning I immediately feel relief. So this is the antioxidant lip repair. This stuff is just, oh, it's just so good. It says apply once or twice daily after cleansing, massage a small amount into the into your dry lips. That's exactly what I do. I usually pump it on the back of my hand, swirl it, swirl it around and then, and I'm good. Okay, so now let's talk about the custom dose product that I got. So this guy here, since it was custom built for me, it has like a cute little packaging and it says my name on it, very, very cute. But nonetheless, this guy, like I said, because it does have retinol, I only use it at night. So I do about three to four drops, apply it, work it into my hands, and then I press it into my skin and the residue into my neck. It has been making a big difference. I wake up in the morning and my skin feels a lot more soft. And when I go to wash my face, I just feel like there's less dead skin. Does that make sense? Ooh. Anyways, so this guy I have been using at night as well. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the routine that I kind of put together was really much so a morning routine. But as I kind of firm down my nighttime routine, I'm just really trying to find a product that I absolutely am obsessed with that takes my makeup off. I think I found it, but I just, I'm still testing it out. I've only had it for about five days now. So I'm still testing it out because I really want to make sure it is the one that I want to share. Um, like I mentioned, I've been sharing a lot of products with you guys and my favorites and my skincare Sundays, and I'm kind of dialing it back to just show the best of the best. So that's what this is. Once I have my nighttime routine down packed, I will be sharing it. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. This is my new, my latest and greatest skincare routine in the morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe. And of course, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.